Farthest man-made objects from Earth Humans have always been fascinated and curious of the unknown. The very thought that there is a gigantic stretch of space beyond the limited visible parabola of the sky sparks a certain interest in the mind and is so overwhelming to perceive. The beauty of outer space that we know of through pictures and random flipping of science magazines is something way too extraordinary to conceive. Socrates said, Man must rise above Earth to the top of the atmosphere and beyond, for only then will he fully understand the world in which he lives. The German V2 was the first rocket to travel into space, overcoming the problems of thrust and material failure. Ever since the Soviets successfully launched the first outer space mission with the Sputnik 1 on the 4th of October 1957, humans have continually improved and launched crafts that can travel even further deep into outer space. You're watching Factolic, and today we'll be counting down our list of the farthest man-made objects from Earth and compare each one as well. For our list, we're taking only satellites and crafts that are still sitting idly and those that are still moving further into outer space. We'll be measuring their distance in astronomical unit, in short, AU, and AU represents the mean distance between Earth and our Sun. An AU is approximately 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. It's approximately 8 light minutes. Well, well, we hope you're done processing that. So let's begin right away. New Horizons 43 AU New Horizons is an interplanetary space probe that was launched as a part of NASA's New Frontiers program on January 19, 2006 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station by an Atlas V rocket directly into an Earth and solar escape trajectory with a speed of about 58,500 km per hour or 36,400 miles per hour. It was the fastest man-made object ever launched from Earth. The main goal of the mission is to understand the formation of the Plutonian system, the Kuiper belt and the transformation of the early solar system. The spacecraft had a launch mass of 478 kilograms, dry mass of 401 kilograms and payload mass of 30.4 kilograms. The NASA operated probe has a mission cost of approximately $700 million over 15 years, 2001 to 2016 and currently is at a distance of 43 AU moving at a speed of 14 kilometers per second. As part of an extended mission pending NASA approval, the spacecraft is expected to head further into the Kuiper belt to examine another of the ancient icy mini worlds in that vast region, at least a billion miles beyond Neptune's orbit. Pioneer 11 100 AU NASA's Pioneer 11 is a sister spacecraft to Pioneer 10 and the first spacecraft to study Saturn up close. It's a 259 kilogram robotic space probe launched on April 6, 1973 to study the asteroid belt, the environment around Jupiter and Saturn, solar wind and cosmic rays. The mission ended in 1995 and Pioneer 11 is on a trajectory to take it out of the solar system. On January 30, 2019, Pioneer 11 was 100.84 AU from the Earth and traveling at 11.241 km per second, traveling outward at about 2.37 AU per year. It was operated by NASA and ARC and cost about 150 million US dollars. Currently the spacecraft is heading in the direction of the constellation Scutum. In 928,000 years, it will pass within 0.25 parsecs of the K dwarf TYC 992-192-1. Now we're moving to the top 3. And the third most distant man-made object is Voyager 2, 120 AU. Voyager 2 is a space probe launched by NASA on August 20, 1977 to study the outer planets. The spacecraft had a launch mass of 825 and a half kilograms and a power of 470 watts at launch. Voyager 2 is equipped with three multi-hundred watt radioisotope thermoelectric generators MHW RTG to power the probe. At a distance of 120 AU or about 16.4 light hours as of February 25, 2019, moving at a velocity of 15.341 km per second or 55,230 km per hour. Voyager 2 is the fourth of five spacecraft to achieve the escape velocity that will allow them to leave the solar system. 
The probe had two main missions, one being the planetary missions, which ended after the exploration of Uranus, Neptune, Saturn and Jupiter, and the other being its interstellar mission that started 30 years ago. The Voyager 2 is operated by NASA and JPL and cost a massive 895 million US dollars. The probe left the heliosphere for interstellar space on November 5, 2018, becoming the second artificial object to do so and has begun to provide the first direct measurements of the density and temperature of the interstellar plasma. Pioneer 10 123 AU Pioneer 10 is an American space probe launched in 1972 and weighing 258 kilograms that completed the first mission to the planet Jupiter. The spacecraft is predicted to be currently at a distance of 123 AU, traveling outward at 12 kilometers per second. The main objective of this probe was to explore the outer solar system and the planets, including the asteroid belt, and then heliosphere exploration. So, let's talk cost now. The NASA and ARC operated probe cost a total of $150 million. The Pioneer 10 is presently the second farthest man made object from the Earth and is heading in the direction of constellation Taurus, although the Voyager 2 is expected to pass Pioneer 10 probably around April 2023. Voyager 1 147 AU was launched by NASA on the 5th of September 1977. Like its sibling, the Voyager 1 2 had a launch mass of 825.5 kilograms and a power of 470 watts at launch. At a distance of 147.347 AU or 22.0 billion kilometers or 13.7 billion miles from Earth, as of October 1, 2019, it is the most distant man-made object from the Earth. The mission of the probe was outer planetary, which includes flybys of Jupiter, Saturn and Saturn's largest moon, Titan. But now its extended mission is heliosphere, an interstellar medium exploration. The NASA JPL operated probe has a total cost of 1.145 billion US dollars so far. Voyager 1 is expected to reach the theorized Oort cloud in about 300 years and take about 30,000 years to pass through it. So that was all for the farthest man-made objects from Earth. Now that we know that we humans are capable of sending probes that far, perhaps it won't be too long until the day humans spread into space and inhabit different planets. Well, that would be a wonderful sight to see. So with that in mind, this is Factolic. We are signing off for now, but stay tuned for the next one.